It's been a while since I've done a video, but now that I'm back in Calgary, I'm going to start getting back into things, and i got a lot of topics that I want to cover, so let's have a good spring and good summer, and let's get going. I've been asked quite a bit recently about what my diet is, so I wanted to touch on a little, little couple things that I've noticed in my, own, in my own journey and what things have changed. A lot of people in the, let's say, the raw foodist community talk a lot about eating your food when it's raw or when it's alive. So that being, let's say, whether in seed form or sprouted form. And I think what a lot of people miss on this is, and what probably propagates a lot of elitism, is the idea of eating food when it's enzymatically alive. And there's books that talk about at 118 degrees Fahrenheit, your food starts to degrade. And there probably is some truth on that, but what I really want to hammer home here is the idea of start asking yourself the question, how much life is in my food? How much love is in my food? How much time did I take to prepare it? Or um, how does it feel when I eat it? How does it look when I eat it? And obviously we can all have very poor, poor quality raw food meals and very lively or very energetic cooked food meals. And you consider other things even, like how it's prepared. Was it prepared by a person with a lot of care or a lot of love? And I think that's something that we need to consider a little bit more in our day-to-day -day lives. Because I go to a lot of raw food potlucks and, and you meet a lot of raw vegans who really like to, to kind of emphasize that that's who they are. And we be begin to start defining ourselves by what we don't do or what we don't eat. And I think that sets us back a little bit on our health journey because we start to dissuade and we start to segregate ourselves from main groups of the population. So things that I try and do or things that might be beneficial to you is create ritual, create a ceremony behind eating. Emphasize the idea that this is a, a great change in the energetic structure of nature. We're taking a part of nature, we're transforming it into ourselves and we continue that process. So with the food that we eat, Consider just the energetic quality of it. How do you feel when you eat it? Was the person who gave it to you with love? Or do you eat it in a way that's appropriate? Do you chew thoroughly? Do you chew with a, a conscious, conscious intention of enjoying it? Or is it more of a mundane wrap around a granola bar or eat it in the, eat it in the, eat it in the car? There's so many things to consider, but Given that I run into a lot of people that emphasize a, a raw food diet and maintaining a enzymatically alive product, consider these other things as well. And you might notice a, a big boost in, in your health because I think a lot of people when they do become a raw foodist that they, they fall into these barriers that really hold them down. So with ceremony, ceremony is something something beautiful, whether it's taking three seconds before you eat to remind yourself what you're doing there or what this process is that you're doing. Because as we all can agree with or we all can relate with that many of us are on autopilot most of the day. We just go by as if what we're currently doing doesn't matter and the step 15 or 20 minutes later is all that matters. Oh, I just need to get home or I just need to finish this essay or I just need to pass or finish my degree or I just need to get this job then I'll be happy and we start to create this world where we're not even present while we do things so consider the the idea of eating to be let's say a microcosm of that that we're chewing because we want to enjoy the flavor we want to enjoy the taste we want to enjoy the exchange and it makes us stay one step closer to a healthy life because we want to stay in the body our body is telling us everything. It's telling us where our aches and pains are. It's telling us where um, we may have deficiencies. And they may be very subtle, but a lot of people, and, and it's great when I start to hear this, they'll say like, oh, I just feel like I need a bit more magnesium in my diet. Or I feel like I need a bit more greens. I feel a little bit acidic. So these things happen by just being a little bit more conscious. So start loving what you're doing. Start walking with a little bit more intention. When you talk to someone, be a little bit more connected. Uh, speak with love even and for that extent listen in that same manner and keep on going so let's have a great great spring so thank you